Henshaw's Daily Living. Hi, welcome to Henshaw's Knowledge Village. I'm Fiona from the Children and Young People's team and today I'm bringing you an activity idea to help with money management and money recognition for children and young people with vision impairments. So you might have seen a idea floating around the internet um, for families that have got children at home um, to help get them to stop asking for snacks every two minutes. So one genius mum came up with the idea of a tuck shop. Um, so she is giving her kids uh, a pound a day to uh, encourage them to only buy the snacks that they want and need. And it kind of gives them um, an understanding of budgeting, um, coin recognition, things like that. So I decided that we'd do our very own tuck shop. Um, on the wall here, uh, we've got the list. You're going to get a bit of an insight into uh, what I've been stocking in my cupboards. Um, so, we put the um, items in a basket. Uh, you could have a few baskets for different things like chocolate biscuits, one for fruit, one for crisps, that kind of thing. So in mine, I've got some nuts, which on the shopping list are 15 pence. Uh, we've got a bag of crisps, that are 25 pence. A juice, that is 10p. A yoghurt, which obviously you'd keep in the fridge, um, which is 10p. Um, a cereal bar. I missed the cereal bar off the list. Ah, we'll say that's 5p. Okay. Um, a bag of chocolates, which is 50p. An apple for 5p. And an orange for 5p as well. So, I've tried to make my snack basket healthy. Um, there's a mixture of things, but what I've done, um, which is what this mum suggested as well, was making sure that the healthier things are cheaper and the more treat things that you should only have ever so often are more expensive. So that's why the chocolates are 50p. So, the idea is that you give your kids a pound a day um, and that is their limit for spending on snacks that day. Um, we've got water on there as well, which is free, which is a great way to encourage kids to drink um, free water. Um, so, some of the ways we could link it to coin recognition for vision impaired. Uh, give them a pound a day. You could start off by just giving them a pound coin. Um, and then each day you could build it up by introducing different coins. So the next day you could give them two 50p's. Um, and each day you can teach them what the significant features of those coins are so that they can learn to recognise them. And as the days go on, you can mix them up a bit more, uh, 2p's, 20p's, 10p's, 5p's, um, until they've had a go recognising all the different coins. When they're buying from the tuck shop, what you could get them to do is, before they're allowed to take the item away, you could have um, little uh, tins or bowls so that they have to find the coin that matches their coin that they're paying with um, and put it in the right bowl. Another idea that you could do is um, coin um, matching games. So I've made this myself just with some cardboard that was lying around the house. Um, it's tactile, so ideally you could do with super glue or strong glue to um, attach the coins to the card. Um, but as I'm not going out very much, I only had sellotape in. Um, so I've used sellotape, and if you really like scratch the sellotape down, you can feel the, the patterned features um, a little bit. So you can have matching ones, so I've got two 50p's here. Um, and I've done two one peas, so you do one for each coin, uh, two for each coin, sorry, uh, and then um, you, they have to match them. So they'd find the 50p, they'd have to find the other 50p. Another way of doing that game is having them match um, the actual written value of the coin as well. So you could either do this in large print, um, or if you have a braille machine, you could do it in braille as well. Um, and you get them to actually match the coins up with the written value. So those are some ideas 
and hopefully that will help them recognise some coins um, and start learning about budgeting and not spending everything at once uh, and not always just going for the chocolate either. And so I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope the kids can get involved with this, uh, if you liked it let me know, if you've got any other ideas let me know and thanks for listening, hope you're all doing okay. Thanks, bye guys! Our videos are helping people across the world. If you found them useful, please donate on our website so we can keep making more videos like this in the future. Henshaws, supporting people with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations.